everybody. Uh, I wanted to do a croissant family update and just let you in on a few little things going on. Nothing um, too major. Um, but before I get started, uh, I wanted to tell you if you watch till the end of the video, I'm going to sh show just a little clip of my garden and it got a lot of rain last week and has thrived from that rain. Um, and anyway, I'm just proud of my little garden and um, I just want to share the growth with you and from time to time I'll just show you a clip of it so you can see what's going on with it. But we'll go ahead and get started on the family. And the first one I'll talk about is Randy. And as you all know, he has early dementia. And in one of my recent videos, I told you about his different issues, most of that stemming from Vietnam. And uh, yesterday, he was admitted to the hospital. Um, I think that adjusting his medication uh, will help and do a lot of good, but at this point in time, he doesn't have a great quality of life because uh, he's just not uh, doing good with his medicine. That's what I think, and after uh, almost 32 years of marriage and dealing with this, I kind of know some about it. And so I am really feeling like with that medi uh, medication adjustment, he's going to be doing a lot better. So he'll be in there uh, for at least several days. He's in the Veterans Hospital and um, we'll just see from there. But I'll let y'all know when he gets out. So please Remember him in your prayer that he will get the help he needs and come out uh, like a shining star. And then, uh, otherwise, you know, it's just same old stuff with us. I say that Randy and I are just old people living a boring life and we wouldn't have it any other way. Um, then I'll tell you about me. I'm doing good. I can't complain about anything. Uh, I feel good. Life is good. We're blessed. Um, I had told you I'm having a lot of trouble seeing, so I went to the eye doctor the other day, and um, my problem is that I had cataract surgery several years ago, and membranes have started growing over the lenses that were implanted. And that sounds pretty scary, but according to the eye doctor, it's not that bad, and I'm going to have uh, some surgery or a procedure, whichever way you want to look at it, and get those taken off, and the doctor said that they'll never come back, and my vision will clear back up, so I take all that very positively and uh, am very thankful that it's no more than that. So, uh, as far as I go, uh, I'm doing fine. And then for Kaylin, she is now a kindergarten graduate. Her last day of school was Tuesday, and uh, she had an assembly which the principal of the school and her teacher both made sure to let me know about that and please ask me to be there. So, um, go up there. So, um, anyway, they had awards, and the PE teacher picked out of the school an award to give to. So did the librarian, the music teacher. <coughs> um, I'm trying to think now. Just all the different departments, the lunchroom even gave an award to the class that was the best. And the last award to be given was the principal's award. And the principal gave the um, Rachel Challenge Award. And as I'm sure you have realized Kaylin won that along with another little boy. They both won this. 
And so, um, I'm going to get, I'm going to read you what she read to the school. She gave a copy of it here. And uh, I'm going to get through this without being the proud mama that blubbers while I read it. But I am just, my heart is just filled with pride. And I know that a lot of y'all love her and love our family. And I want to read you what it says. Uh, Rachel's Challenge, Principal's Choice Award for the... Um, School uh, Spring Awards 2019. Okay. There are some students who march to the beat of their own drum and who see the world just a little differently than the majority of the students. This year, I have been blessed to have two such students. They are incredibly different souls, march in the wonderful uh, school environment. However, they are very similar in one way. They both have the kindest hearts and the instinct to make sure those around them are happy. Kaylin Crisson and Blake deserve the Rachel, Rachel's Challenge Award because they are the kids who make sure those around them have someone to play with, sit with, and to talk to. I hope they take this award and continue to march through their school years with the kindness and instincts that make this life better for them and for those around them. Much appreciation, Kaylin and Blake. So, I am so proud that my child has that kind of heart and uh, cares about people like that. Um, I hope great things for her and for what she does for others. So, I made it through, no tears. <laughs> but that is what's going on with the family. Um, oh, I did forget to tell you one thing. I'm going to be a great grandma. My oldest grandchild is expecting. So, she doesn't know yet what she's gonna have. She's a little over eight weeks. And so I'll keep you posted on that too. But otherwise, we're pretty plain and boring. And that's just how we like it. So y'all have a wonderful rest of the week and an even better next week. And we will see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Say bye. Bye.